the nuts. Oh, an eight out of ten cats does count now. Chalk on lock. John Richardson. Catherine Ryan. Joe Wilkinson. Sean Bean. Susie Dent. Rachel Riley. And your host, Jimmy. And welcome to 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. OK, let's meet tonight's players. First up, it's team captain, John Richardson. <laughs> John has talked a lot about unnecessarily worrying about things. Things like, has he left the gas on? Is his marriage all right? And do people think he's boring? Don't worry, John. You probably haven't left the gas on. <laughs> it's a relief. <laughs> and John's teammate, it's Joe Wilkinson. <laughs> Joe's got a little bit of everything stuck in his beard. <laughs> Up against them this evening is team captain Sean Locke. <laughs> Sean's got a face for comedy and a head for baldness. <laughs> I'm not bald. Oh. I mean, that doesn't work, does it? That joke doesn't work. I would say you look <laughs> a little it's like an egg that's been dropped on a barber's floor. <laughs> It's like a dog's favourite tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but it's not bald. Well, I take it back. Oh, and joining Sean tonight is Catherine Ryan. <laughs> Some people have accused Catherine of being two-faced, but to be fair, one of those faces is underneath the new one. <laughs> True. Sean, are you superstitious? Uh, well, I know more than the yeah, average person, you know, usual things. What, what sort know. of things? Well, I wouldn't wear new slippers on a full moon, those kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> if you happen upon a sheep on a rainy day, curtsy. <laughs> <laughs> Just the normal ones, Jimmy. <laughs> the regular stuff, everyone. Yeah, yeah. never trust an electrician with no eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> if you find a pigeon in your bathroom, salute and say, how's the admiral? <laughs> The usual ones. Never read a pop-up book about giraffes. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, just the usual ones. <laughs> well, I'm glad I asked. Um, <laughs> Catherine, you're a keen follower of celeb gossip. Uh, who are you into at the moment? Who do you like? Oh, uh, well, you know I'm massively into Cardi B. Very much on your own. Explain. <laughs> Well, Cardi B is an incredible artist and very famous social media comedian of sorts, but she started as a stripper. She got a record deal on Love & Hip Hop, now she's famous. My favorite person. <laughs> Cardi B and I have a lot of the same experience in growth and in life. Even though I never started as a stripper in the Bronx, I started as a Hooters waitress in Canada. And a Hooters waitress essentially, as Jimmy tells me all the time... Well, it's a stripper that can't dance. Right. <laughs> I'm guessing, is it your accent or is she not for this country? Oh, grr, Cardi B talks like <laughs> she's from the Bronx, like this all the time. You know what I'm saying. So, I'm sorry, what the was the bird noise well, at why, the beginning? Why, why? <laughs> she invents a lot of her own language. So she calls money shmoney, and then when she says okay, she goes oh, grr, like that. Can you do that? Uh, no, because I'm not at primary school. <laughs> so, OK. John. Mm -hmm. John, have you let yourself down recently? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I let myself down a lot. Um, every day I try avocado again, I let myself down. <laughs> Keep thinking, this time it's going to be nice. It never is. <laughs> it looks, looks green and looks like it's going to be like an apple, like a mushy, like a starburst. And it keeps on tasting like a dick that's been buried. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, what I really wanted to be was a, a cameraman on this show. Because mm. it's the best job in the world, isn't it? Because they do fuck all. Because <laughs> um, nothing happens on the show, does it? Yeah, I mean, half of them are asleep, if you look. <laughs> <laughs> But then, um, <laughs> a few months ago, I noticed there was a, there was a job going as uh, one of the cameras, so I applied. All right. Yeah, and I got, I got down to the last few, but I was uh, pipped to the post by that Jeremy cow. 
Me is she is she is dog shit. <laughs> right? right, just show what, what her camera's pointed at. <laughs> pointed at cables. <laughs> Absolute shit. It's not who you know, it's who you blow, isn't it, Eden? <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Joe. <laughs> That's unprofessional. <laughs> Get her, uh... <laughs> John, John, have you got a mask on? Yes. I thought it would be nice to catch up with some of the correspondents that we get on the show. We get a lot of tweets sent in, and uh, some of them are mean. Uh, and I know, Sean, you're not on Twitter, so I thought it would be nice for you to understand some of the sort of witty banter that goes back and forth. Mm, um, thank you. They're not all horrible, I have to say. This is, uh, this is the first one coming from Smiling Axolotl. Uh, the way the other people on Countdown treat you makes me genuinely sad, to be honest. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? They're genuine, are they? These are genuine, yeah. What, and they post <laughs> these big... in a big envelope? Yeah. <laughs> big stamp. <laughs> and this, uh, this one is for all of us. Oh. I think you all need to have a long look at yourselves and think about the responsibility we have here. This came in from uh, Andrew Pickford Five, my favourite band. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, but this programme has spoilt the original <laughs> countdown. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Poor bastard. And look, 11 in the morning. Oh. He slept on that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this one's serious. Now, you have to accept <clears throat> when, like myself, you're one of the edgy comedians. I say a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you say something, and I know when I've done it, I've said something pretty controversial. It's pissed people off. So, uh, I said something that upset Victoria. Uh, Switched off eight out of ten cats due to John Richardson's unnecessary comments about kittens. Whoa. <laughs> Not at all funny. And she's gone straight to the big wigs. <laughs> Not, <laughs> Not <laughs> <one>. <laughs> <laughs> what did you uh, what did you say about kittens? I think someone had a kitten on and I said that they eat birds. And I think Victoria has taken umbrage with that fact. <laughs> she probably switched over to watch a nice you know, Attenborough documentary where a gazelle gets ripped to shreds by four <laughs> lions. <laughs> you don't expect kittens to be slagged off on 8 out of 10 cats. You no. Don't. That's probably why she tuned in. She was confused. Well, I suggest you might enjoy a show called 10 out of 10 cats. <laughs> <laughs> you can be ruthless sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Victoria. <laughs> You've been served. <laughs> do, you want, do you want a towel? Because you just got rinsed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you responded to her in the way that Cardi B might, you'd say something like, how you gonna suck your man's dick with my name in your mouth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what camera am I on? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> hey, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, <Jimmy. laughs> yeah. Come on, John, you, you can do this. this. <laughs> yo, yo, Victoria, <laughs> uh, how are you going to suck all the d***s? <laughs> with a fruit pasta in your mouth. With a fruit pasta in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's on screen, everyone. Yeah. Oh. Um, Catherine, have you got a mascot? I do have a mascot, Jimmy. Um, I attended my daughter's recorder concert at the school, and it made it very clear to me straight away that the arts need to be urgently defunded. <laughs> <laughs> we can't be going to any more of this garbage. <laughs> so I confiscated her recorder, and then also her dad bought her these drumsticks. I say her dad. It was my best guess at the time. <laughs> <laughs> And so these are drumming sticks, and they're really fun, actually. You don't even need a hard surface. You can drum on anything. Do you want to give them a go, Sean? Yes, I'd very okay. much like to do that. So, <laughs> what I thought Sean and I could do for the program is um, spice it up a bit with some percussion, perhaps happy music when we win, a celebration, you know? So if we get um, the conundrum, whoa. I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If we beat Joe and John on Let's a word. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> if I get a word more than three letters... Yeah. Please. Then <laughs> we'll do a celebration like this. <laughs> right? <laughs> Suck my nipples. <laughs> Suck my nipples. 
Uh, Sean, have you, have you got a mascot? I do, Jimmy. What I thought I'd do is I thought, you know, you're always making jokes about me, about my age and granddad and all that, and I thought, well, I'm going to get digital on your ass. And I've finally created my own website. Oh. Yeah, and I made it myself. I did a, a course. I didn't know how to do it online, so I had to do it by post. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here it is. I think it looks great. There's things like that. You can go in there. Look, there's fun facts about Sean. Look, there we go. Look. Ooh. Fun facts about Sean. <laughs> <laughs> but there's others. There's, I've got merchandise. There's Ooh. my merchandise. Now, I've chosen... <laughs> to just get rid of some stuff from my loft. Whoa! So there's a leaf blower that I've signed there. <laughs> by that. And if you look at it, it's a seriously powerful leaf blower. <laughs> but apparently, we don't have room for it anymore. <laughs> That's our double bed, which we're selling. And that's got a lot of sense well, because all our children were conceived on that bed. <laughs> Either on that bed or near it. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Oh, there's my inbox. Look, if you see, I've got 170 unread messages. Because <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce bought the leaf blower. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, caused a bit of... She's a bit upset, basically, because she didn't realise how powerful it was. <laughs> and it, did, it actually took the skin of Jay-Z's rice pudding. <laughs> He's furious about that. <laughs> and uh, there's all oh, there's a surprise one here. Look, there we go. Look, this is a lovely photo of you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of my the, the peculiarities about my family. We've got baboons' asses. <laughs> Sean's website, everyone. <laughs> oh, Joe, have you got a mascot? Yeah, I do, yeah. Um, I brought along uh, 80s pop singer Paul Young. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Young! <laughs> Paul Young. Um, is, is he going to sing one of his classics for us? Uh, no, no, he's not going to sing, no. <laughs> uh, Why would he not be singing? Uh, I couldn't afford it. it um... <laughs> He's, eight, he's 80 quid to hire for the afternoon, and um, it's an extra 40 if you want him to sing, and I thought, ah, fuck that. <laughs> um, so instead, what I thought we could do, I thought we could just stare at him for 30 seconds while we have a cornetto. <laughs> so, there you go, Jimmy. There you go, everyone. Okay. Pass it around. Rachel. There you go. Everyone got one? So oh. we're having a cornetto and staring at Paul Young for 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> what over in Dictionary Corner? It's the legend that is actor Sean Bean. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> uh, for anyone that might be, I don't know, been living in a cave, could you tell us who is Sean Bean? Well, imagine, if you will, the world of celebrity is a map. Find the town marked A-list, then head south. <laughs> Sean Bean is an actor and star of such films as the one where I talk like this and the one where I talk like this in a dress. <laughs> I've been shot, stabbed, beheaded and devoured. That was all just on way here this evening. <laughs> Sean laughs. Sean laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> If there's any kids out there who still want to know who Sean Bean is, just ask Internet. Just get out my device. Alexa, who is Sean Bean? Did you ask, what is straight to DVD? <laughs> who is Sean Bean? 
What is three dimensional minus one? <laughs> Who is Sean Bean? What is children born out of wedlock? That's a bit more like it, you bastard. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sean Bean, everyone. <laughs> I'm sure you've had worse things spat in your face. What does that mean, Jimmy? What does that actually mean? I'm sure you've had worse things spat at you than a crow's head. What could be worse than someone spitting a crow's head? There's not much worse than that. Sorry, I'm just having a bit of a cry. <laughs> might use a tissue. <laughs> I'm really sure you to look over there and see Paul Young. <laughs> <laughs> just in case I'm not having a weird enough day. <laughs> <laughs> and with Sean, of course, it's Susie Dent. <laughs> Susie, have you discovered any new words recently? Um, yeah, I like the, the sort of new old words. They're old words that have kind of completely faded from view, and then I'd like to bring those back. So there's whoopenzocker, which is quite nice. A whoopenzocker is something extremely large of its kind. Like your... <laughs> <laughs> like Jimmy, your Jimmy, over here. <laughs> <laughs> like your head. You're not going to step away from that. <laughs> <laughs> All you've got to do is get your head on that. That's in the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? If you're not going to do it, I'll do it. <laughs> what, like my cock? <laughs> um, I'm in charge of the numbers. It's Rachel Riley. Rachel Riley recently celebrated 10 years on Countdown, and she's irreplaceable to the show, just like Des Lynham before they replaced him. <laughs> <laughs> so, 10 years on Countdown, how yeah. did you celebrate? Um, I posted loads of filth over the last 10 years from Countdown. Regular Countdown. Regular Countdown filth? Yeah, so things that have popped up on the board, like F.U. penises, <laughs> the vaginas, cum budgie. Cum budgie? <laughs> yeah, you know, you're, you're a cum budgie. <laughs> That's got Jimmy's nod of approval. <laughs> <laughs> Suitably smutty. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the prize the team will be competing for tonight is this, the Countdown Pancake Kit. <laughs> OK, let's count down, everyone. Time for our first game. Sean and Catherine, you get the first pick of the letters. <laughs> Can we have uh, three consonants, please, Rachel? Yes. <coughs> G, S, and R. And then a vowel, please. O. And then another vowel, please. I. And then a consonant, please. L. And then a L. vowel, please. And e. then. Consonant and a vowel. And then consonant and vowel, please. And T. And A. OK, your 30 seconds is about to start, but as a special treat, please welcome back the legend that is Paul Young! Yeah! <laughs> Paul Young. Yeah. John, how many? Oh, eight. Oh, like an, oh, eight. Like, oh, it should have been a nine. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty Very cool. hard to say, oh, eight, and then go, oh, nine, one, fifty, fifty, <laughs> fifty. <laughs> whose, whose number is that? It was a chat room from the 90s, I believe. Was it? Oh, eight, nine, one, fifty, fifty, fifty. Oh, it was Hot Guys, wasn't it? Yeah, and a guy <laughs> doing that with Yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make new friends on the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> We all met, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Joe, how many? Eight. No, how many letters? Five. <laughs> <laughs> More like it. Uh, Catherine, how many? Six. 
Okay, uh, Sean. Seven. Let's uh, let's hear yours, Joe. <laughs> Later. <laughs> uh, uh, Catherine. I only have Soiler. Oh. Soiler. Yeah, like Three. a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, your seven. Loiters. Mm. Okay, Loiters. John, your eight-letter word. Gloaters. Very good. Oh, very good. <laughs> Seems. Okay, Sean Bean. We had gloaters as well. <laughs> <laughs> could, could they have done any better than gloaters? We had toe rags as well. Toe rags, a seven. Mm. Season. Yeah, I know, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of that, John and Joe are in the lead with eight. Yeah. <clears throat> well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, on to our first numbers round. John, Joe, you got to pick up the numbers. Uh, We'd like one big one and five small ones, please. Thank you, John. Ten. Oh, two, ten is the best one. Eight. One. Eight. Oh, and the really big good. one. One hundred. Yes, right? all the sweet ones. Wow. Oh, oh, yes! Don't you dare! Please, please, please! <laughs> please don't do that, please. I, I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> I don't want to break his heart. Please. If 108 comes oh, up, this you is don't bullshit. get it. It is bullshit. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? This is it. Press it again, <laughs> Rachel. Don't... Oh, great. Oh. Yeah. 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 That'll do. Okay, your time starts. It's impossible. <laughs> So the target was 719. Joe, did you get it? I think so, yeah. OK. Um, I did, uh, I did. <laughs> John, did you get it? Uh, yes. Sean, did you get it? 720. Uh, Catherine? I only got 720, too. 720, OK. So, uh, John, how did you do it? 100 times 8 <coughs> 100 times 800. That's what I, that's what I did. 10 times 8 is 80. Ugh. Take that away and take the one away. Oh, that's incredible. 10 points to John! <laughs> and here is your teaser. The words are knee tush. The clue is yes, please. That's knee tush. Yes, please. See you after the break. Welcome back. The answer to the teaser. The words were need tush. The clue was yes, please. It was, of course, enthused. OK, so John and Joe are in the lead. They've been playing in teams so far, but this game is just for Sean and Joe. So, Joe, your turn to choose. A uh, consonant, please. Thank you, Joe. M. Uh, a vowel. U. Consonant. Better spell monster, man. N. Uh, <laughs> oh! Consonant. H. Oh! Uh, <laughs> consonant. A, a vowel? Yep. E. Consonant? R. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you can come in. Uh, consonant? P. Genuinely don't know if I laughed. <laughs> it, it looks like Manta. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, Manta, yeah. <laughs> and uh, a, a vowel. vowel. And I. I've got six, Jimmy. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Your time starts now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, actually, I 
scratch and my neck feels better. Uh, Joe, what have you got? How many? Uh, I've got six. OK. Sean? Seven. Woo! Plus... Wait. <laughs> Joe, your six. A uh, hunter. OK. Sean, what is your seven? That hunter's never going to catch me because I'm thumper. Whoa! <laughs> Celebrate! <laughs> Susie, is thumper a word? Thumper is in the dictionary. Ah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Great. Sean Bean, could they have done any better? Impossible. Ooh. Susie, can you turn my head back the way it's meant to be? Yeah, there goes that right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so at the end of that, Sean and Catherine have seven, John and Joe have 18. Yes. <laughs> OK, time now for John and Catherine to go head to head. Catherine, your turn to pick the numbers. Could I please have one big, Rachel, and five small, please, Rachel? Yes, Catherine. They are two, nine, ten, four, one, and one hundred. OK. Target, eight hundred and thirty-two. OK, your thirty seconds starts now. OK, so your target was 832. Uh, John, did you get it? Yes. Ugh. Why do you put, <laughs> why do you put little brackets around stuff? Cos I'm a twat. <laughs> Cos I've got maths A-level and I want everyone to know about it. <laughs> Cos deep down, I'm a very unhappy man, <laughs> Do you know what I've got in maths? I've got a CSE, which is before GCSEs, if you couldn't do an O-level, it's equivalent to having a sticker saying, Sean done math. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, did you get it? Yes, you did. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Just say, I, yeah. I want to use the hundred and the four. No, sorry, did you get it? Yes, you did, yeah. <laughs> did you get it, Catherine? Mm. <laughs> Catherine, did you get it? 104 times nine. Oh, yes, I did. No, no. How did you do it? <laughs> Divided by nine. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm nine minus one is eight. Nine yeah. minus one is eight. Eight. Times 100. Plus four. Plus, plus four. four. <laughs> <laughs> eight, three, two. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> I did not get it. <laughs> I didn't get it either. I haven't got my A level. I just did a load of blow and shagged everyone at school. <laughs> how did how did you get it, John? <laughs> I did the eight times the hundred, and then I did ten minus two multiplied oh, by four. Of course, four. yes. Ten points to John. <laughs> well done, John. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, time to take a trip over to Dictionary Corner. Sean, you look deep in thought. What's what's on your mind? I oh, was just thinking about acting lessons. Great idea, I think. I mean, <laughs> even if you just took one. <coughs> I meant teaching them, car, you bastard, not taking them. <laughs> Permission to demonstrate. Permission granted. Gratitude, ascension. <laughs> <laughs> Movement, talent walking, talent walking, talent walking, <laughs> talent walking, arrive. You, join me. I'm about to open up my acting masterclass. Give my hand, get up here. <laughs> Come on, son. Take that. Welcome. You're about to learn how to act like Sean, or as I like to call it, Shacton 101. <laughs> Arms by your side, eyes face forward. Good. <laughs> now, first question, straight off the bat. Are you a fan of Sean? Yes. Is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Second question, prove it by naming all of me films. And bear in mind, the world's record for naming any of me films is none. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones. And many others. 
It's not easy, is it? I once Googled myself and my laptop shrugged. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get down to business. Do you know what this is? Party popper. Correct. <coughs> AKA fun in a bottle. <laughs> How it works is you pull on its tail and it explodes, you know, like a field mouse. This is a party popper gun. I've loaded it with several mice that I'm about to fire in, around, and directly at your face. <laughs> Why? Because Sean Bean doesn't flinch. It's impossible. You could lose a grenade up his nostril and he wouldn't even sniff. <laughs> Stay stoic, and you're well on your way to being Bean. Flinch, and I will hit you until I pass out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me see you smile, neither. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard. You haven't laughed at anything I've said all night. <laughs> wow. Good. You married? Kids? Yeah. Oh, well, never marry your kids, son. <laughs> Deactivate the arena. <laughs> I like it. I like what I've seen here tonight. Welcome to Clam. Give them a hand. <laughs> no. No, never. Sean Bean, everyone. <laughs> and here is your teaser. The words are penis art. The clue is good to decorate your house. That's penis art. Good to decorate your house. See you after the break. Welcome back. The answer to the tease of the words were penis art. The clue was good to decorate your house. It was, of course, painters. OK, on with the game. Sean, Catherine, your turn to choose the letters. I was just going to have a look at some more on my website. <laughs> oh, well, let's, yeah, what else, is, uh, what else is on there? There's my gallery, picture gallery. Oh. That's hookworm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a parking space. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I... I didn't have my car with me that day. And I was thinking to myself, ooh. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? That's a sunset. <laughs> <laughs> That's a red squirrel. Is it? <laughs> he's very old, so he's gone grey. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's my tour dates. And I'd just like to say all my fans, thanks for the smaller venues this year. Um, <laughs> I'm playing the little chef in Odeby. <laughs> uh, Taunton Needle Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go eight, Winchester. <laughs> I'm on the third platform. <laughs> uh, John's Tire and Exhaust Centre, Wrexham. <coughs> and my opening line is there, you know, Wrexham Tires and Exhausts. Yes, it does. A video an hour, I'm knackered. <laughs> <laughs> and my London dates. I'm playing the O3 in Luton. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's website, everyone. <clears throat> Sean, Catherine, your turn to choose the letters. Uh, consonant and a vowel and a vowel of standing in consonant, please. T, O, N. Uh, consonant, please. <clears throat> D. Consonant. W. Consonant. T. Vowel. E. No. A. Cousin. S. And your time starts now. Catherine, how many? I've got a risky eight. A risky eight? Mm-hmm. OK. Sean? Seven. OK. John, how many? N I've got a joke nine. 
But if I, I say that. nine, everyone will get excited and then the joke will fall flat because well, it'll not just like piss you're people lose off. Out, you're going to lose the game, is it? OK, well, let's, let's build it up because I think it's nice sometimes to disappoint people. Um, right. <laughs> how many have you got? Nine. Nine. <laughs> well, I hope it's not just a joke one. This better be good. <laughs> uh, Joe, how many have you got? A uh, four. How many is it? <laughs> OK, what is your four? Sorted. Joe? Tees. Sean, you're seven. Donates. Your risky eight, Catherine? No. <laughs> Sean, what's your risky eight? Was sweated when I thought there were two E's. OK. And the nine. Well, I think it's because of Sean's website, I've put town dates. Oh. From your tour schedule. Yes. Now do the joke one. <laughs> I got it at the last minute and I thought, Sean's just done his tour, so I'll say, oh, I got town dates, but I think that's just because you did your tour. <laughs> and then I said, I've got a nine, but I don't think it's very funny. And you all said, oh, fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, after my A-levels, I got a degree in disaster management. <laughs> <not first. laughs> that's me. OK, so seven points to uh, Sean and Catherine. <laughs> Sean Bean, Susie Dent, could they have done any better? Lady Dent, take the honour. You have found a nine. <sighs> there is a nine, and it's almost as boring as John's. Downstate is there. Ah, Down? Susie Dent, Downstate. nine letters. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> How about we take one final trip to Dictionary Corner? Sean Bean. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Meet Yakult. I love this stuff. I can't get enough of it. I drink it, snort it, inject it into me Johnson bottle and all. Funk! <laughs> Lady Dent, wouldst thou care to join me? Yes. See? Bacteria can be classy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you uh, like to taste before? I'd love to. <coughs> <laughs> It's nice. Yeah, it's, it's a vintage. It, it's out of date. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love this stuff. <laughs> I truly do. I've been drinking it steadily to the point where I'm now two thirds yogurt. <laughs> but it's not all good news. Sometimes it can create a bloating, a bloating the likes of which that can only be relieved by the hand of another. <laughs> so, what are you talking about? I'm talking about milking, Lord Carr. <laughs> John, son of Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Wilt thou aid me in my dilemma? Yes. <laughs> Give me a round of applause, let's go. <laughs> <It's in shape. laughs> Put that on. You'll need it. And relax, my friend. It's far worse than you could ever imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Down there, lads. What? Oh, goodness. <laughs> nice. There you go. Now, listen. For three score years and ten, I've been a slave to the Japanese gut spunk. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst it's done untold wonders inside, and the outside has turned my body into a car crash. It's caused changes, mutations, to the point where I've now... Oh, <laughs> grown out of my actual thorax. Actual orders. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, oh boy, do they look right for the milking right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to want to kneel down for this one, my friend. We'll <laughs> take stool, huh? Why not? Now, open up your hand. It's a three-point procedure. Uh, nice and flat now. Just gather up the oh. orders <laughs> in your palm. <laughs> <laughs> Warm your hands up first. <laughs> Try getting wanked by a chuck ice. <laughs> go in. There you go. That's it. Delicate does it. Now, what I need you to do, aim them toward me like you were aiming... Ah! Oh. <laughs> aiming trebuchet walls a castle. And with your digit finger, punch them a foil one at a time. All right, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do it. That's it. Squeeze it out. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Oh. <laughs> and now, it's the final part of procedure. It's so warm. <laughs> I've been sat there for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> now, my friend, we drink the milk. Oh. <laughs> no, you, you, you have that. You, you enjoy that. I'm <laughs> vegan. As of, like, now. <laughs> it's your loss. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Give it up for my friend there. <laughs> mm. oh. yeah. That's a career low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's so good. Uh, that really feels like a rock bottom for you. <laughs> <laughs> at least now I'll know why people are shouting your cult at me in the street. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Bean, everyone. Here is your final yeah. teaser. The words are bonkless. The clue is this could get messy. That's bonkless. This could get messy. See you after the break. Back. The answer to the teaser, the words were bonkless. The clue was this could get messy. It was, of course, ink blots. Okay, time for our final letters game. John and Joe, your turn to choose. A consonant, please. Thank you, John. C. A vowel, please. I. A vowel, please. A. Um, and a consonant, please. D. And a consonant, please. R. A consonant. F. A vowel, please. U. And a, a consonant, please. H. And a final letter, please. Well, you, which one do you want? The, <laughs> the T, I think. T. Oh, the T. Done. <laughs> OK, your 30 seconds starts now. Arise, Sir Jimmy Carr. Am I... Am I misreading this, or do you want to...? <laughs> OK. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so, uh, how many? John? Five. OK. Joe? A risky four. <laughs> Catherine, how many? Five. OK. Sean? Good work. Four. OK, well, let's hear your four, Sean. Arch. OK. Joe, your risky four. Drut. Could you use it in a sentence? Yeah. Oh, drut's a word. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think drop might mean? Uh, forward thinking. <laughs> <laughs> My God, that guy's drop. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, is, uh, is drop a word? No. Oh. <laughs> OK. Uh, Catherine, you're five? Fruit. Fruit, OK. And uh, John? Chair. OK, five points to both teams. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Bean, Susie Dent, could they have done any better? We got seven haircuts. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> OK, so Sean and Catherine have 19, John and Joe have 33. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing for pride. <laughs> OK. OK, fingers on buzzers, time for today's countdown conundrum. We can't lose, right? Yes. You I cannot you lose. Will. I might nip for a piss then. <laughs> OK, your time starts now. <laughs> well, don't do it there! <laughs> Sorry!
ponytails. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> OK, so the final scores are Sean and Catherine have 29, John and Joe have won with 33. Yes. Congratulations, John and Joe, you're now the proud owner of this, the Countdown Pancake Kick. Now, to play us out, please welcome back Paul Young with Come Back and Stay. Paul Young, everyone. Next Friday, squeeze up on the sofa. The comfiest critics about are back for brand, a brand new series with all eyes on the box at nine. You on Sunday, survival could mean 100k. Just don't chase the cash and ditch the basics. Bear won't be impressed. Treasure Island at nine. Next, the Rob Rinder verdict.